hi everybody and thank you for watching so this is my living room it's been a long time coming i've been decluttering my home now well this room for quite a few weeks and now it's time to decorate so these are all of my christmas decorations those ones in the garbage bags are new decorations that my mother-in-law brought from her house and then usually we just have those three boxes and then the tree so it's time now to decorate we're going to put the tree up first and then we're going to start organizing the decorations to see which ones we want to use this year at the same time i'm going to go through the decorations see if there's anything that is broken or we no longer want and those i'm going to discard uh, there is still quite a few decorations that we may not use but that's okay because every year we do have a different theme i think last year was more like red and uh, white with these new christmas balls that my mother-in-law brought over i believe we're gonna go with a more of a white gold um kind of i don't know that kind of um, color theme so let's just see how we go about this honestly i'm not that good at decorating the tree that's all my mother-in-law that is there with me and then my daughters i'm just going to be helping her where i can organizing the decorations so then she can place them on the tree and then i'll start to decorate around the house so in front of the tv on that entertainment unit we usually have a bunch of decorations there that's where we usually put our um our stockings and stuff like that so that's what i'm going to do while she focuses on the tree and the hardest part of putting the tree up is opening up all of the branches, making sure that it looks very full. At the same time, you don't see it, but I did ask my daughter to grab the uh, chair for us because we're quite short and we're just trying really hard to open up the tree as much as possible so that we can uh, decorate it. So I'm just getting all of the area ready for my mother-in-law. I'm asking her which ones does she want. And so, yeah, I'm just going to start with the entertainment unit as i pull stuff out so anything that's going to go there i'm just going to put to the side and then as i see decorations that she wants then that's when i'm going to uh, more or less give them to her okay so these are the balls that she brought from her house and so they're very beautiful she said that she got them a few years ago from michael's when they had them on sale usually during well, i think after christmas around new year she said that they go on sale for like half price so she grabbed them and she gave it to us and so there's three of them there you can see she's just hooking them up and making them go around the whole tree i'm just pulling things out and placing them now on the entertainment unit making our little altar there of christmas decorations and at the same time i'm asking her what color theme does she want so i have these red ribbons i have these white ribbons uh what does she want uh how does she want to decorate so during this video you'll see me and my older daughter walk on and off the camera so it is a saturday morning that we're doing this and she actually has a party to go to so you'll also see her changing her clothes and then us uh off camera a little bit because um, her friend came to pick her up to take her to the party so uh, there's a lot that's going on this morning but i really wanted to get these decorations up so we actually did this just before thanksgiving because it's always nice to have the christmas decorations up when family come over so we are hosting thanksgiving this uh year so that's why you've seen me over the last couple of weeks really declutter the downstairs so really looking at the dining room living room and then i do have to do the kitchen so that will probably just be posted uh next week it's just really it's hard for me because I'm, I'm recording these, but then it does take time to edit and do a voiceover. So they are kind of behind when it comes to uh, when it up, does get uploaded. So right now I'm just pulling away the red ribbon from the white ribbon because she's going to keep the white ribbon. And then anything that we're not going to use, I am trying to just uh, put them away in the boxes and kind of organize them a little bit more. So every year I try to go through what we have and then anything that's broken or we haven't used in a while, I want to just get rid of it. I want to get to the point where I only have maybe two buckets of Christmas decorations. Right now we do have three. So over the years, I'm, I'm not going uh, 
clearance shopping for Christmas decorations after Christmas. I haven't done that in quite a few years. I do go, I'm, I was wrong, I do go after Christmas to pick up uh, wrapping paper. After grabbing all the Christmas stuff out of the garage, or like all this stuff, I tried to look at my wrapping paper and I was surprised that I only had about two or three rolls left. And these rolls are not like, they're Christmassy, but they're more the plain ones. So usually when I do do clearance shopping, I try to pick up the Christmas wrapping paper that is plain, like a plain red or a plain gold. So I can also use it for other, uh, other kind of events like birthdays or something like that. But yeah, I, I'm down to only like four rolls and more than likely I will use those rolls this year and then I will we'll have to buy some more for next year or I might even have to buy some for this current year. So usually I do buy wrapping paper after Christmas and I try to get the ones that are like plain colors so I can use them for other events. So like a plain red or a plain gold. Uh, that way it doesn't look so Christmassy and I can use it for a birthday or something like that. But I am down to four rolls so we'll see uh, if I can utilize those this year and then I will have to probably do some clearance shopping and grab some for next year. So usually I go straight after Christmas and go to Walmart. That's the closest place to me and they're like 50% off. I can buy a few rolls for a couple of dollars and then yeah. Okay, so this bag that I'm dumping a few stuff in, those are items that are broken that we're not gonna use. So that is our trash bag, I guess. And so right now I am starting to build these snowflakes. So. Uh, I think I bought these snowflakes maybe one or two years ago. We didn't use them last year and uh, because our theme was red, but our theme this year is white. So uh, my mother-in-law wants the snowflakes. And so because they are brand new and we've never used them before, I have to assemble them. So I've got the string and I'm putting it through the snowflake and assembling these ornaments and then placing them on that lid box there for her to place on the tree and so she is asking my little one to help her out so she doesn't have to bend down and so that's what we're kind of doing the kids and her are decorating the tree and i'm just uh building or assembling these ornaments and i'm also going to start cleaning up uh, the area around us all the stuff that we no longer need so I, i'm asking her is that enough decorations and i believe she said yes so after i finished assembling a few more of these ornaments i ended up starting to clean up so i do want to ask this question when do you guys decorate for christmas so i've been told by my mother-in-law and my mom we basically start decorating from november 1st it is a little bit later in the month because we've just been so busy, but usually November 1st is when we start to uh, decorate. And so we have the tree up for um, over two months. And then we usually wait, I think, till the first or second week of January uh, to take it down. So apparently we have to wait for after the, the Three Kings uh, leave, I think it is. I can't remember what they said, but yeah, we usually wait till after uh, New Year's to take it down. So I did change the angle of the camera so you could see me building these little snowflakes. They're very time consuming because I've got this little string that I have to put through a small little hole. And then yeah, my mother-in-law said that that was enough. So I did stop and I'm gonna start uh, putting a few things away now. Um, I did notice these flowers. She gave these to us as well. Last year, I believe we put them all on the tree. But because we're going with a different theme, she said, why don't you just put them in some vases and put them around the house? So that's what I did as well. And I did decide to start helping her a little bit. All those snowflakes, I decided to place them around the tree. I'm just trying to really help her um, decorate. And uh, more or less, the quicker I help her, the quicker it all gets done. And then, yeah, so you'll see, I'm just slowly trying to help her out there's a few other small decorations that i wanted to place we have a few of these like wooden hearts that are neutral colors that should go well as well with the theme so you can see our theme is more white gold silver and neutral colors no bold reds and stuff like that 
it's looking quite good honestly so i'm very happy with the way it turned out and my mother-in-law is now these um, ribbons that she used last time to kind of make a like you know how people put tinsels and stuff around the tree she used those ribbons instead but she's not doing that this year she's just making a bunch of different bows and they're actually looking really nice okay so i am assembling these flowers i was going to put them away but then she's like no just put them around the house so i did find a few vase and i'm just trying to uh, put them in there and so i did use some of these red paper uh paper tissues to kind of make them look a little bit more better in the vase so we are almost done i think my mother-in-law is happy with the tree she did notice the angel there that we usually put on top so we did ask my son to come by and help he's a lot taller than us so he did come by um, he had to still step on the uh, chair to place the angel up on the tree so this angel my mother-in-law gave this to us I think almost 10 years ago a lot of our decorations are pretty old every year my mother-in-law gives us more decorations and is the one that usually decorates our tree so when I did come here from Australia uh, we didn't have a tree I think the first year and then when we got our first place because we were uh, renting a room the first two years that I moved here but then when we got our first place uh, we we did have our first tree so she gave us a small little four foot tree that was her old tree and so we had that for quite a few years and she was the one that gave us all the decorations i think that was only one year that i kind of went a little bit shopping there was like some deal at target and i did grab a bunch of ornaments and stuff like that and so i've only really shopped probably once or twice to grab christmas decorations all the other decorations are from her so all these small little things that you see she has either made them or she has bought them over the years she has a large 10 foot tree that she usually decorates at her house and she says it takes her about a week to decorate not just her tree but her fireplace everything around her house the outside of her house and so she really goes all out us we just do the tree this uh, area in front of our tv and then we do have a a reef that she made um, i don't know if i posted it here on the video but this is beautiful reef that she made uh, she handmade it with glue and stuff like that and ornaments and so we have that on the front of our door so we just do the basics when it comes to decorating um i think that's enough <laughs> honestly i don't want to put too much in our house okay so i was just cleaning up underneath the tree before she placed the um that red i, I don't know what they call it but the that red thing that she placed under the tree so we've done that i'm now just trying to do the finishing touches we're putting all of the stockings up here we don't have a fireplace so we just put them up here and then we're just going to start to clean up and then also uh, put away and then clean up so right now we're just finalizing everything i'm putting everything away my mother-in-law is just tidying up a little bit and then i'm going to vacuum and then also we do have to put up that other decorations on the window um, you'll see that later on so I'm just tidying up just a little bit um, all the toys and everything that my kids were playing with while we were decorating and then my mother-in-law did find these uh, lights uh, so she's trying to figure out what to do with them what we're gonna where we're gonna put them and then so we did put this up here on the window and then I didn't mention this or I didn't film it but we actually put those lights that my mother-in-law had in her hand actually around these um that thing on the window so that was off camera after the fact but yeah we're basically done now it's time to vacuum this area when we i think i'm not sure if i mentioned this but yeah whenever we are decorating the amount of uh glitter and um little bristles from the tree and all those things that fall on the ground it's unbelievable so i do have to vacuum quite a few times you see me 
vacuuming um, the same area a few times there just to make sure that I'm grabbing everything. You did see that my daughter changed her uh, outfit. She is getting ready to go to her friend's party. Uh, so it, we are basically done. And literally the minute we were done here, I checked my phone and her friends were outside. So very good timing. We were able to get this done in the morning. I think this took us maybe about two hours to do everything. And so, okay, we are done here. I'm just putting away the final touches and then we will do a recap of what my living room looked like before. So this is what it looked like without any decorations. And then here are all the Christmas decorations that we're gonna use. And this is what it looked like now. So I have all these boxes here that I am going to place in the garage. We're not gonna utilize any of those decorations. And here you can see, this is our area in front of the TV, all of our small little pictures, little knickknacks, our little kind of altar. Here is our Christmas tree. So it looks very nice there. You can see all of the different decorations, smaller decorations here. I also have a few Australian animals on here. One year my our friend gave it to us. Uh, there's probably like six of them there. And so we always add it to our tree. And then um, I, we have also these decorations here on the other side. And then, like I said, uh, we actually place some lights on those as well. But yeah, that's basically it. That is me decorating my home for Christmas. Thank you for watching.